by Entertainment, and I am here with the one and only Deborah Baker Jr. today. I can't wait to hear a little bit about your acting career. I know it's been an incredible journey for you. How did you get started? How did you decide that this was the profession for you? I wanted to be a Rocket when I was little. We used to go to New York all the time when we were little, and we would see them on stage, and they would do like the whole you know, nutcracker scene, and they would all fall down on their beautiful legs and their sparkly outfits, and I was convinced that I was going to be a Rocket, and then I heard you had to be a certain height, and you had to like kick your leg all the way up to your head, and that wasn't going to happen to me. I was uh, proficient in dancing, but not that great. <laughs> Uh, and my mom had us, you know, I was the eldest and I did a, a little bit of modeling and acting when I was really little and I booked a pilot and my mother was like, mm, this isn't for us. I think she was in way too many casting rooms with other mothers and children and she was like, this uh, is not the environment that I want the rest of my children to be. Because my, my sister and brother, my brother's much younger than me, but my sister is not in the entertainment industry whatsoever. <laughs> she gets very sweaty just talking about it. Um, so my mom was like, definitely, <laughs> we're going to take a pause on this. And if you want to do it later in life, then you can. Uh, I think probably junior year of high school, I would say, is when I really started feeling like this is probably the career for me. I didn't apply to any real, like, I wouldn't say real colleges, but I went, to, I applied to mostly acting conservatories. and. My dad was like, hey man, I don't want to pay for college if that's not, not your jam. I'm very dyslexic, so school did not come easy to me. It was the stage where I thrived, and my parents were so on board, and I got into the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and moved out here straight from high school, and I've been doing it ever since. That's incredible. Yeah. And you have a background in theater, so mm -hmm. how was it transitioning into film and television? You know, acting is, is tough. I think the biggest part of acting that was a challenge for me was the rejection. You have so much rejection, and in theater you don't necessarily have that much rejection. I mean, it's, growing up I did school plays and community theater, and everybody's a part of the show. You come out to Hollywood and it's a lot of no, no, no. You don't look the right way. You don't sound the right way. You, you, that's not the right part. We can't, you need, so that's the, I think the toughest part for anyone. Um, I was just recently talking to a friend of mine and she was like, oh man, the rejection, right? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> it's a bummer. Do you do, still do any theater work now or are you mostly focusing on a film and TV career? Okay. I would say uh, I would like to be in film and television to make some money, <laughs> but I love the theater and I'll always go back to the theater. It's where I grew up starting my craft. Uh, it's where I go back to work on my craft. It's how you keep all your tools sharp and feeling good. Um, I'm part of a theater company and I'm part of the Upright Citizens Brigade, which is a, a comedy theater company. And I think of all the jobs, that's always going to be the most fulfilling because you have that instant gratification, you're part of a group, you have that, you don't have to, you know, worry about hair and makeup and lighting. It's like real raw right there. Uh, I think I will always love the theater no matter what. I mean, you have to always go back. There, I mean, there could be actors that don't dig it, but I dig it. So you're a veteran of the Upright Citizens Brigade. <laughs> and I know you mentioned it, but tell me a little bit more about your experience there being in the improv troupe. I don't know about veteran. I have never actually been on an official team at uh, UCB, which is totally fine. There's tons of successful people that have never been on a <laughs> successful team, but I'm on stage there all the time and all my friends are there. Um, I feel like I've learned a lot there. I'm very grateful for all the things that I have learned there. Um, I met a ton of people in classes going up through, I went through the whole program. And I, those people are my dearest friends still. You've got a pretty good history of film and television shows in the comedy genre. Is that something you enjoy or would you like to branch out into other genres? When you move to Los Angeles as a, an aspiring actress, you think you're going to do everything. You've done all the school plays, you've played a dude, you've played a grandma, <laughs> you've done, you know, the really sad, tragic things. And I, I would say when I moved straight to California I was like oh yeah I'm definitely gonna be the next like Julia Roberts like I've got this down I am a Reese Witherspoon I have this I'm gonna do some really amazing work you have to find your niche and I think early on I was able to be like oh cool 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 with this voice I definitely have to be quirky <laughs> and make your way in so that you can get to the level where you're like Tom Hanks and just acting by yourself with a beach ball so I think <laughs> goals I have them I'm gonna get there someday <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I think, uh, y yeah, you just have to find your niche and work on it. And then hopefully, you know, the other roles start opening and coming to you and you're able to showcase the other things that you can do. Because I don't think any actor in this town is only good at one thing. Mm -hmm. I think they were noticed for one thing and are riding that or can't get out of that or like, hey man, this is easy. I'm just going to do this for a little <laughs> while. And say so something that came easily to you or was it something you kind of had to learn through you know, through training. Comedy, it did come easy to me. I don't know, uh, so, so many people are like, oh man, like, where have you studied? Where did, and I was like, I, yeah, I've done UCB. Yeah, I was part of a theater company, but always growing up with this voice, you kind of have to put up your guard and be like, yeah, I, I'm just gonna be weird and funny. <laughs> if you had to give advice to, let's say someone like yourself who moved from the East Coast to LA to pursue acting, what would you tell new actors? I think there's one thing that I learned and hold dear to my heart. I was watching an interview on Drew Barrymore. I think she was maybe giving an acceptance of speech or maybe it was just like an interview interview. But she said, don't just move out here and think it's going to happen for you and like you're going to be on the street, pick up a lucky penny and it's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to be like, it happens for some people like that and I'm, I hate them. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I think you have to... You, you get managers, you get a team, and they do 15% and 10%, but that rest of the percent is you. So do something for your career every single day, and I don't care if it's going and watching a movie and being like, yeah, I'm gonna steal that, or go take a class, or I don't know, submit yourself, make sure you go to workshops, make, do everything you can for yourself to set yourself up, because there's so many people in this town that are working their butts off every single day and if you think that you're just going to sit there and be discovered there's so many other people that are working harder and I think deserve it more if you are working you should be working every single day for this it's it's hard work um, but it pays off it really does just keep just keep swimming <laughs> reference. It's great advice though. No, it is. It's really good. So this has been a lot of fun to get to hear your story and I know your fans want to continue following you. So where can they find out more? Where can they continue seeing the journey that you're on? I am on all of the social media platforms. I So you can do Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Deborah Baker Jr. You can find me, Deborah Baker Jr. Follow me. Uh, yeah. But <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That is Deborah Baker Jr. I am Camera Potter for That's My Entertainment, and that's my entertainment. What's yours? Hey, I'm Deborah Baker Jr. from Stand Against Evil. That's my entertainment. <laughs> What's yours? <laughs>